Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 27 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do some blending on the walls, on the floor. Now, when I'm talking about blending for the walls and the floor, I mean adding blood to the wall, adding blood to the floor. It could be adding an image to the wall. Let's say if you needed an image that would lead your character to where to the direction of the power switch, meaning an arrow or a sign on the wall. I'm going to show you guys how to do that with ease. It's a form of blending without the hardcore blending like we did in the past. All right, so let's open up Radiant. There we go. All right, and let me give you guys a good example of what I mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the wall, but we're just going to select the face. So hold Control and Shift and left click. And as you can see, we just selected the face, not the whole brush. As you can see, the back is not selected, nor the side. It's just that inner face. So now we're going to go over to Patch. We're going to go to Terrain. And we're going to go to Terrain, or actually Face to Terrain. Click on that. And as you can see, it turned the face into a terrain patch. And if I move it over, you can see that the brush is not modified. It's still in, in its original form. And I can actually, you know, Drag this up, drag this down. Now we're going to go over to our textures. So press T for textures. And either you want to go to, you can go to decal and it'll show you all the decals. Let me get all out of favorites. Now it's showing me all the decals that I have. Now decals work perfect with blending the walls. Like let's say if I wanted to add some blood to the wall, I would double click on this one. As you can see, there's blood on the wall, but it's not stretched out in the way we need it to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a tool that's gonna stretch this out for us. Now, normally we would just go over to surface inspector and you know hit natural, hit fit, or um, you know one of the other options, but that doesn't really work out too well especially when it comes to adding a patch on the wall. Now we're going to use a different tool and this one is actually called the patch inspector. So we're going to go over to patch and you should see right over here it says patch inspector. Now, if you want to bring up the window without having to go over to the patch tab, uh, just hold shift and press S, you know, it's the same thing as surface inspector, but you're holding shift also. So we're going to click on that. And here it is. This is the helpful tool that's going to help us stretch it out. Now, when I say it's helpful is because it only shows the options we're going to need, meaning rotate, horizontal shift, vertical shift, horizontal stretch, vertical stretch, and also rows and columns that we can add or change. So right now we're just going to hit fit. And as you can see, it stretched it out in the way we needed it to be. Hit escape. And bow, there's blood on the wall. It's a good day. Now, let's say if you want to select this. Now, normally you would uh, hold shift and left click. But as you can see, I'm also selecting the wall instead of that patch we just made. So the way you would want to do this is you would want to hold, uh, well, at least right click. And then it'll show you what textures you have. So right now, we're using the decal blood. So I'm going to click on that, and as you can see, it selects it, and I can change it up. Let's say if I want to put this zombie hand over here, double click on that, go over to fit. Wow, oh, there's a zombie hand. Now let's say I want to rotate this. Go over to rotate. There you go. And click out of that, hit escape. Wow, oh, this is a zombie hand on the wall. All right, let's mess around with the floor. So same as before, hold control and shift, left click, go over to patch, go to terrain. Now face to terrain. And as you can see, it turned the, the floor into a terrain patch. So now we're going to look for a different image. Let's see what else we have here. Um, all right, this looks cool. Let's uh, put this like bullet hole glass kind of thing there. Double click on that. As you can see, it's not stretched out. So hold shift, press S to bring back that tool and hit fit. Wow, there we go. 
Now, never pre press apply because when it comes to the terrain patch, it's actually like two faces. So you would just want to hit fit and then close it out. Now, this also has verts. So let's say if I select it, right click, uh, select which image it is, and press V on the keyboard, it'll bring up the verts. So let's say, uh, let's see if I could add more verts into this. So I'm gonna drag over, select two of them, that way it'll add a vert in the middle. Hold Control, hold Shift, press A. Oh, it actually did. All right, cool. So in a way, this is a form of blending. So let me select these two, do that one. Press A. Let's see if we could blend this with another texture. Let me press Y. Make sure it's on alpha. And hold Alt. Oh, I can actually modify it. But that's not what I'm looking for. Let me Control and Z. All right, so you can at least add more verts into this. But we're going to go back to its original state. All right, cool. So that's how you add a texture to the floor. Let's say if you want to change it up, you know, right click it, select the image it is. Let me get out of Y, get out of that. And let's look for something else. Let's look for something cool that we could put down on the floor. You know, it could be blood, it could be paper. See a uh, decal, grunge garbage. Let's double click on that, let's see. Bring up that tool, hold shift, press S. Go to fit. Wow. Now we got paper all over the floor. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's change it up. Go to that. Let's see what else I can add here. Let's see. 54. Actually, it's right there, but it's so small. Let's see if we can stretch this out. So now we're going to end up using stretch. There we go. There we go. There's the 54. All right, let me do the vertical stretch. Escape. Oh, there's the 54 now on the floor. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. Select that image, right click. This is another one that's pretty small. I don't really want to mess with you. All right, let's look for something else. Could be a number on the floor. Wow, that's huge. There you go. Say so if you wanted to put that on the wall or anywhere else. Let's see what else we can put on the floor. There we go. This is a cool one. Wow, check that out. Hit escape. Now, let's keep going at it, but let's do the wall now. So control and shift, left click, go over to patch, go to terrain, face to terrain. All right, now I can stretch it out, put it in the size I want it to be. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, here we go. Let's say if you wanna put help, that's original. <laughs> Rotate this. There we go. Hit escape. All right. Let me click on it. Go to that one. Say if I want to put the direction to the power switch. That shit is downtown, baby. But this is uptown. We got to rotate this. There we go. Only uptown can go up, never down. All right, and let's see what else we can put. You know, there's images, there's pictures. You know, basically you want to use a decal. Let me see, could put a stop sign, speed limit. You know, blood, it's pretty much endless as, as long as it's a decal. But uh, it's, it's pretty much whatever your heart desires, you know? Uh, control and shift, left click, and go over to patch terrain, face to terrain, and I put this bad boy in there. There we go. Check that out. You know, and also you can select the one you have, 
you can go either to copy and paste and you actually made another one so let me go from a top view from the 2d camera put that shark in there check that out so now it also has a shark in there hey he's smiling at me thank you sir i know you like the video all right and uh that's, that's pretty much it also you can rotate images like let's say if it doesn't come out in the direction you want it to be you know just select it go right in front of it in the 2d window press r and you can rotate it hit escape let's say if i wanted to add a crack in the wall you know let's, let's use this one and rotate it back there we go And let me look for a crack in the wall. You know, there's plenty of things you can add in here that'll spice up the way your map looks. It's visually amazing. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, here's a crack. Go to fit. Check that out. Now I got a crack in the wall. Like, this is the coolest way of doing blending. And, you know, it's going to spice up your map. And I hope you guys like this. So uh, you know the deal. If you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.